What's up, people? This is Thomas Youngblood. I'm Tommy Kervik. And you're watching The Age of Metal. My God has shown his sympathy for all the spirits lost. I'll pray for a salvation. This is Miguel with DH Metal, and I'm here in Asylum Records in Tempe, Arizona, with uh, Thomas Youngblood and Tommy Kaverick of Camelot. Uh, how are you guys? Uh, well, first of all, congratulations on releasing Silverton. Um, it's been like an, what, one year that the album has been out, mm -hmm. and also congratulations on becoming uncles in some sort of way. Now that right. you know <laughs> Oliver is getting uh, his. Uh, Kid in the way, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Thank you. Well, um, how has been this tour so far? I mean, how is it different from last year? Well, it's been great. We've it's a, it's a headliner tour, so of course mm -hmm. we're playing twice as long. Uh, we're being able to do a little bit more of our own production, lighting stuff like that, depending on the venue, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a great tour. You know, we we brought two support bands that I think uh, make a great package, a diverse package, with the clips being very different and. Uh, Delane, you know, is just probably a, a band that, you know, fans of Nightwish would, would like already. Um, so it's been cool. It's really cool. It's been a year since Silverton uh, went out, and it's been a year since you've been pretty much doing heavy hardcore with uh, with uh, Camelot. How's been the experience and that ride so far for you, Tommy? Well, uh, I think it pretty much started with, uh, like, for real, yeah, mm -hmm. the last year, uh, US tour. Uh, like as a front man, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, much have happened since since that day. I mean, we we're back here and and uh, we're doing bigger shows, longer sets, uh, more actual hardcore fans to come watch us, cheer on, cheer cheers on. So I mean, it's just been really really fun. Great, great to hear. Uh, you guys have any kind of crazy stories? I know that I mean. Canada doesn't bring a, a, a big crazy crowd, but it will soon be something that happened for you guys, no? I mean, there's always little things here and there that we get to see or experience, uh -huh. but um, so I can't really single out one thing. I think one thing that's really cool, at least for this tour, we, we tr really tried hard to make it all ages show. Uh -huh. So we've had a lot of really young fans come out, which is cool. Um, and then, you know, we get you get, it's, it's just weird to see the gambit of, of our um, demographics, you know, from the six year old little boy to a 50 year old uh, mom you know um, but every night it's something different we're doing the VIP uh, meet and greets on mostly all the shows and then then you really get to meet um, the fans that uh, that have known us for a long time and have their own special kind of story about how Camelot has um, impacted or affected them any particular story that you remember <coughs> kind of like impact you that your band uh, impact that person I mean, there's uh, there's several that uh, people that have you know gone through heavy stuff, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's like suicide attempts or things like that, you know, very personal stories that you know really makes you appreciate what you know we appreciate what we do and how it can impact others. Well, I mean, um, it's been a year since Silverton uh, came out. How has been the response of the people from uh, the album towards you guys? For me, it's it's been, I mean, better than I expected mm -hmm. in the beginning because it's always this kind of you know the new singer, mm -hmm. especially with when there's a new singer mm -hmm. in the band. So, uh, but the Jolly Tree doesn't feel like. That. Oh, yeah, that's a good. We try to make it a, like a seamless transition. You know, we have to okay. stay true to the old camera trademarks while also bringing something new in. So, so I, I think we succeeded in that, and I think people also know that and feel that. So. Well, I mean, not everything is always uh, great, and I come across with kind of like fans that are still feeling like missing the old ways. Have you come across with raging fans about the new uh, ways of planet or with people that disagree with it? I mean, not really. When you think about the percentage of uh, fans uh, that we've gained, mm -hmm. 
that never knew Camelot before, that uh, like the, the kind of the, the new approach that we're taking, versus the fans that no matter who would have been the singer, no matter what the record would have sounded like, they would have had a reason to um, complain about it, whatever. So, um, the stuff happens, you know, and people have to make changes, and that's what happens, you know, and for those fans that have stuck with us, uh, I think we've all been rewarded from it. You know, ones that, that haven't, they're missing out, in my opinion. All right, that's fair enough. Now, the album is really epic. That's no doubt about it. And it gives room for so much story that it kept me thinking it will be a second part of Silverton or some, some kind of continuation. Well, we haven't... Uh, that's yet, yet to be revealed, actually. We, we're talking mm -hmm. about how, how to put together next, the next uh, record right now, so so we don't know you. Yeah, if we told you, you know. You know what that means, right? You have to yeah, I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's really cool, too, because for me, I think the record uh, met more than my expectations. And, and now that uh, Tommy is a full-fledged uh, writer and member and everything, and it's just, uh, it's really cool to think about what we're going to be able to do on the future albums, you know. Um, you know, we, I think we we made this record to set a statement about Camelot from the past and for the future, and uh, now I think we can, you know, maybe experiment a little bit more, and uh, Tommy will have a chance to bring a, a little bit more of his uh, signature into to everything, too. Definitely. Looking forward to <coughs> the development and next stage on Camelot's history. Now, um... From I, a couple weeks ago, I come across that you guys are going to be playing a couple dates in South America and Brazil. Um, is there any chance of a full-fledged kind of uh, tour in South America, including in other countries? Um, right now, we have a couple of Brazilian dates. We might add another one. Mm -hmm. We might add Mexico. We might add uh, Costa Rica. But we're still waiting for for that to get finalized. So right now, it's we got Buenos Aires, uh, Chile and Brazil, and it's a possibility to add some more. All right, uh, tell me, which one has been the most challenging thing uh, for you to join the Camelot? And which one be also the most rewarding thing? The uh, most challenging thing is, of course, stepping into another, you know, taking over, so to speak, from someone else, and also the, uh, the large amount of touring that I didn't do before. I just played with, with my other band. I just played one-off shows in a week here and there. But now it's full, full-blown headlining tours suddenly, and that's been challenging for me. Uh, so I had to really, I mean, uh, prepare and focus really much. Like he doesn't get to party like the rest no, of us. No, no. so he's a singer and. Sleep. That's not. It's not a. It's not a cool lifestyle. <laughs> Sleep a lot. Um, eat. Work out. He, he inspires us to be uh, better people because he's always fit and everything. And <laughs> one day, one day we're gonna measure up. I think. <laughs> All right. Um. I remember three years ago at Pro Power, the first time that Tommy took the stage with with Camilla. Uh. At that time, it never crossed my mind. It crossed to your mind, guys. Anyone at that point that. Three years later, Tommy will be the full member as a singer of Camelot. Uh, it sure as hell didn't cross my mind, but <laughs> I don't know what Thomas was thinking about. But yeah, totally. I I, I thought about it from before the show was uh, oh. planned, uh, but that as being a possibility. Um, and then we did the European tour, and and uh, Tommy came on with that, and he was coming out for a couple of songs. Uh, doing lead vocals and I think that was a good kind of uh, start to gauge uh, how it could work and, and for him to kind of see um, what it takes really to tour, to, to tour in this kind of lifestyle and um, he was really, uh, he, he really took his, you know, he took his time about thinking about whether it was something he wanted to do because he's the kind of guy that when he takes on a responsibility he takes it serious and uh, so yeah, it was. Uh, I think that was the perfect way to sort of um, test the water, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Good, good to know. Well, um, next year you're going to be playing with um, 
you 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 are buying a seven wonder, a uh, full set of Mercy Falls at Prog Power. How they have the idea? Oh, we've been talking about that for at least five years. Oh wow! Yeah, since the album came out, because it's such a, I think to date this is our most uh, respected album, or, or people that talk about it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, so we th we thought about it, but then you know pushed a little bit aside because always so other stuff happening now and also in Canada, which takes a lot of time. So so every seven one release will probably be you know, postponed a bit a little bit or pushed to the future, but. Yeah, we've been talking about it for at least you know since yeah. Yeah, five, four or five years, and then now we talked about we we talked with uh, Glenn about it, and uh, he was really onto the idea. So so that's kind of how it all started. Well, looking forward to see the uh, see that show in September. Now closing up, what is next for Camelot after this tour after South America? Are you guys writing right now? <coughs> no, not yet. Um, we like to focus when we're on tour. We're Everything's about the show, and um, I think probably we have a little break here in, uh, around Christmas time. Um, I'll start working on some ideas and stuff, and Tommy and Oliver will probably start also doing that. And I would guess after February, which uh, the South American tour, we'll probably start uh, throwing ideas around for the next album. Alright, well, definitely. Um, thank you very much, Thomas and Tommy, for taking the time to speak in here with the H Metal. And looking forward again for the show tonight. The, the show last night was amazing. Looking forward for tonight. And definitely uh, good luck with what is coming up next with uh, Camelot. Really looking forward for what is next for you guys. Awesome, thank you. Thanks.